So today, since we're getting closer, what, within a few weeks of hopefully starting to build our house, um, today we're going to, we're going to use this pan and we're going to make some bricks and we're going to try a different mixture. Or not a different mixture, we're going to call it different mixtures. <laughs> yeah. So the people that we were helping over in Pierce, they're using um, 12 parts dirt to one part Portland cement. So we'll definitely make one out of that just to see what it does. And then we'll probably what make maybe like a nine to one, do something like that. Yeah, look at, make a make a hard ball out of that. I mean, our soil's got a lot of, not a lot, but it's it's definitely got clay in it. When we done the test on it, the jar test, it come back what, like 80, 20? 80% sand, 20% clay. Actually, yeah, 75, 25, somewhere in there. Which is actually a really good mixture, they said. What'd they say they wanted? 75, 25? Or 80, 20, somewhere in there. So we're right there. So the Portland cement will just kind of stiffen things up a little bit. <clears throat> so anyway, we went out, we dug a hole, uh -oh, probably eight, 10 inches deep, so we could get below the topsoil. And um, that's the soil we're using right there. And what she's doing is just run that through quarter inch screen. So basically what we're trying to do is just get it down to quarter inch. Nothing bigger than a quarter inch will fit through the screen. And that's all the rocks that we've gotten out of it so far. So we're just trying to get enough mixed up here uh, what screed it out here so we can make two or three rocks is basically what we're trying to do or two or three bricks two or three bricks that's what we're trying to do okay so we'll keep you posted mm -hmm. all right we got our dirt all sifted but this is going to be eight. an eight to one mixture so basically eight paint caps to one paint cap of uh, portland we're gonna start with that yeah so we're gonna start with that then we can start this one. This one's gonna be uh, 10 to one, right? We're gonna do an eight to one, a 10 to one, and a 12 to one is what we're planning on doing. So, and this isn't gonna be, how do we put it? When we start building, this isn't gonna be rocket science. We're gonna basically take, um, you know, 10 or whatever we end up with. We'll end up taking 10 shovelfuls of dirt to one shovel full of cement throwing it in the cement mixer and that's going to be that we're, we're not going to try to make this more complicated than it needs to be but right now we're just trying to get a good idea of how you want to put it which one's going to be the best yeah you lost count i wasn't counting <laughs> start over when you're right. talking <laughs> i'll stop talking i'll just record <clears throat> this was the 10 to 1 very little water. We just need to make more. Remember? I'm starting to ball up. It's a little wet, but that's good. Okay. I'm going to get it all off the bottom. Less water. Oh, you got too much. That's way too much. Yeah, it's just fine. It just took longer to dry. Not big deal. take a little longer for it to dry. Okay, we got our little pan marked here. We got an eight to one, a 10 to one brick, and a 12 to one. So that's our 10 to one. This one turned out a little bit better. Um, you can see here, it's, it's clumping up really nice. Um, this is our eight to one. It's a little wet. She put a little too much water, but it's not a big deal. We can let it, it'll just take a little longer to dry. So that's our eight to one. So I think, and then we're gonna make a 12 to one. Um, we'll get these emptied out, get our bricks made, and then we'll uh, make a 12 to one.
So that's what we got. Eight to one, 10 to one, 12 to one. And I actually just did a, um, <clears throat> there's another test they tell you to do with your soil to see if it has enough clay. Take a glob of that and you, you roll a ball is what you do. And then just a small ball that fits into the palm of your hand. And then you're supposed to stick it to your skin, but you can stick it to your glove if you want. It might peel off that. And you should be able to, once you get a ball formed, you're supposed to be able to stick it to your skin and it should stick to your skin and stay. You gotta try it on your skin. Why do I have to try it on my skin? Yeah, stick it on my hand. So push it down. No, 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 just pat it, yeah. So you should be able to do that and then flip it over. Oh, flip it over and it should hold. The other thing is to roll it into a snake. You roll it into a snake shape. Not a big glob, but yeah. Roll it into a snake shape. Oh. And then you're supposed to let the snake kind of hang from your hand. It's like a droop test just to kind of see if it'll hold itself together or if you got too much sand or too much this or that. There you go. And it should be able to hang there without tearing. So I think we're good. So now we're gonna take this stuff that we mixed up to do our little test with, and we're gonna make another brick with that without any Portland cement in it at all. Because if that Portland's doing absolutely nothing, which I doubt, but if it is not doing anything, there's no point in buying it. No point in buying it whatsoever. So now we're gonna make a brick with uh, just our, just what, just native soil and see how it turns out strength-wise. All right, so it's supposed to be like 80 some degrees today sun's out we got them sitting on top of a metal roof they're in a metal pan and we're just gonna let them sit up there and bake get 12 10 8 and just the soil and we'll see which one's best which one do you think do you think i'm gonna go with the 10 to 1. it just to me it looks better yeah i think the 10 to 1's gonna be better or stronger. I'm talking about strength wise though. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna test them, but yeah, there they are anyway. Yeah. So we'll keep you posted on it. I don't know if they'll dry today. The last one we did took a good day to dry. About overnight before it finally dried out completely. So um, we'll let you know how it turns out.